What's up, man? Not much, not much. Uh, so we have Guy Fighter versus Tordos oh, FC here. That was really good patience. I like how he just he just stood there on the platform, waited for him to get up. Oh, good counter there. Nice. Tordos is doing a really good job right now. Just he stack, is. He's just racking up that damage. Guy Fighter is kind of just not converting those hits that he is getting when he does get them. So that's a little unfortunate to see. But... He did nice. just get done Very playing nice. Cloud, though, so. Good stuff there by done Tordos reading that out. Out. He just got done playing Cloud. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, so. Just jumping over that Shadow Ball. No regard for its space. Oh. I, love, I love his conversions from Neutral Air. They're really good. Tordos definitely knows what he's doing here. For sure. But I think he almost got DQ'd into losers round one. <laughs> Man. That would have been one sad loser's bracket. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh. I don't... I, I think he tried to force that too hard. Yeah. Guyfighter bringing this back just a little bit, and he gets the fair. Does not kill Guyfighter oh, in an I, okay I like position. That. I like how he tried to camp him like that. That was, that was nice. Very true. And he gets the fair, and Tordos closes out game number one. A uh, minute and a half? Yeah, just about. All right. And he pulls out the Zelda for game two. Uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> hey, I can I can see it working. He might he, he might have some stuff that I've never seen before. I mean, Mewtwo can outrange Zelda with all of his tilts, but it comes down to well, he tried to go for the easy teleport cancel there, which was kind of a mistake, but. He just needs to be careful, be patient. I don't know get how, the punishes. This how this stage is for Zelda because it's really good for Mewtwo. It's actually really good for Zelda because um, her yeah. teleport cancels are actually fairly ah. easy to do on this stage. Okay. So it makes it a lot easier, especially when you're put in edge guarding situations. You can literally run off the platform and okay. um, teleport down and automatically ledge cancel. It's kind of like a guideline okay, to cool. where you need to As angle. I know that uh, Mewtwo can uh, extend a lot of his combos here really right. easily. But Zelda can get pretty decent stage control, keep that stage control, okay. and be able to edge guard fairly well on this stage. Okay. Nice try in the F-Smash read there. Godfighter jumping out. The up air does not connect. Definitely don't want to mess with Zelda in there. It's pretty decent. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, did not hold shield. He did hold shield. Was and that shield, shield poked poke? under. Yeah. I know um, you he can. Should have just angled his shield angled downward a bit more. He could yeah. have punished easily with a uh, ball for the platform, fair or bear. That would have definitely closed out the stock. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Oh, no. Is that it? Oh, okay. Again, I don't know how Zelda works. Oh, no. Man. Not like this. It Not went, like it, this. It went down like that. This yep. could, could be the last game. This could be the last game. Um, that would be unfortunate. That would be a very quick grand final. That would be. Um, it would be fairly unfortunate as well. Okay. He's sticking with it. Yep. He Running back um, didn't angle his shield down that first stock, so he ended up losing. All he had to do was angle down a bit, and he would have been good there. Um, second stock, he kind of just threw that away with a SD, which happens, especially when you're playing Zelda. He probably tried to uh, jump on stage and down B, which would then allow him to um, almost have almost a safe uh, return to stage. I know that throws off a lot of people, that crystal. I, I don't know what it is. What, if it's a it's uh, her neutral B. Her neutral B? Okay. Yeah. I know that throws off a lot of people. It like, that aren't lasts not, forever. Yeah. yeah aren't you See, look at that. Yeah, it just, exactly. It's disappeared visually, but it still is there. I thought Tortoise did not have a jump. I, he's just floating around so much, man. I thought he didn't have a jump. <laughs> Very scary situation right now. Zelda with stage control is actually pretty threatening. She almost tries to catch the uh, air dodge, but it's very hard for her to do so. Punishing the neutral B with that shadow ball. Good stuff from Tordos. And he gets okay. the up B uh, that kill was a right there. The yes, that was. Um, that's always a fun uh, edge guard to do. It's kind of a reverse edge guard as you're trying to recover. It's a very interesting situation. Guy Fader definitely doing a lot better than he was the first game. Um, just trying to be safe on shield, trying to capitalize on his options. Very good down tilt uh, fair trap, uh, F smash trap there. 
by uh, Guy Fighter. Tordos back with stage control. It's very scary. Nice air dodge. One straight hit will actually take it. Yep. And there it is. Tord um, Guy Fighter taking game number three with Zelda. Good stuff. We, uh, I play against um, there's a Zelda we have at our local. Mm -hmm. the Mr. Charm. He's pretty. He's pretty decent. Uh, and I know he throws a lot of people off just using Zelda. Cause right. Who sees Zelda in bracket? You know. I mean, I guess the only times you would see Zelda in bracket here in Georgia would be whether I'm playing her, Guy Fighter, Fly Tie, or Mr. Charm. So. Who do you mean? Um, <laughs> that's funny. Um, back to game four. <laughs> in game four, um, opting for FD. This is actually a pretty decent stage here because he can just uh, wall Zelda out a bit more, and then Zelda's options are a bit more limited. But um, okay. this also allows for more linearity in U2's descent, so Zelda can punish that pretty decently. Um, definitely is still a losing matchup, but Zelda has some things that she can't do due to Mewtwo's floatiness. So, yeah. Zelda being floaty as well allows for a lot of things uh, for her to get out a decent amount of her com uh, his combos. So, just both patience for both sides right now. Good down air tries to bait the shield drop. Good di out out of that, and now oh, good conversion there. Gets the uh, double jump cancel neutral B. Stage I know, control. I know uh, Guy Fighter needs to be really careful about neutral getting up against For sure. He's been he's been getting them like all day. He's been Shadow Ball those. is a very potent kill move. Oh, he's been getting the disables. Oh, the disables on, on neutral on get up. Neutral get up. Nice. Yes. That's actually he, he a bit actually baits it out. He baits it out with he's charging that Shadow Ball and then just comes in neutral. Uh, a throw does. might take it and it does. Tortoise in a very good position right now. Um, Guy Fighter just needs to be a bit more patient here. Just looking for that opportunity. Definitely can do this with Zelda. It is possible. Up air, not take it. Okay, Almost I takes it. <laughs> I saw him it disappear, and I was like, did he, did he just get that kill? No, Mewtwo just air dodged. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Good smash DI from Guy Fighter, ending up behind Mewtwo there. Good stuff. Oh, and oh. he gets the fair, and that will be the stock. Evened it up in just one hit there. And now he just I know has Zelda, to. Zelda can hit really hard. Yes, she can. It's one of the scary things about her. She has so many ways to end your stock super early. And, um, and up B, side, uh, forward air, back air, just really potent kill moves. What What is like a, a primary weakness of Zelda? Um, just how slow she is? Getting in is hard for Zelda to do. And that might be it. No, it is not good, DI. But one more throw, and that should be it. He doesn't have That's to. He gets the neutral get up, and Tortoise hits him with the forward air, ending game four. Tortoise takes the tournament 3 1 over Guy Fighter.